Thanks for logging on to thegazette.com. I'm KKTV meteorologist Jessica Lobel. And tomorrow, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a chilly start. We will start off right around 55 degrees here in Colorado Springs. We are expecting some of that cloud cover to hang around as well. So maybe grab a late jacket as you head out the door. Now in the afternoon, check out these temperatures. About 10 degrees colder than what we were out there today. 76 degrees in Colorado Springs. We'll see 73 for the High End Monument, 68 for Woodland Park, and we'll see the mid 80s across Highway 50. So overall, much more comfortable weather. We're not going to be seeing any of those very hot temperatures, and that's because of some of this cloud cover. It's going to hang around in the morning hours. We are going to see a little bit of storm activity starting to develop by 1 o'clock, mainly to the west of I-25. And then in the early afternoon, this is 430, we start to see some of that activity move into the Pikes Peak region. Now most of that stronger activity later on in the evening will be centered towards the southeastern plains. But yes, even overnight, we're going to see some of those clouds hang around, and we could still see some spotty storms up in the high country. Now we do have a very low risk to see some severe storms tomorrow. That does include Colorado Springs, the I-25 corridor and points to the east. Now our main concerns with these storms are going to be some heavy rain. We could be seeing some hail, some lightning and some gusty winds. Now check out Saturday, even colder than what we're going to see on Friday, 70 degrees, a shower possible. Now I think we're going to be too cool to see a whole lot of thunderstorm activity on Saturday, but it certainly will be cloudy. And if you're heading up to Denver for the Denver Broncos game. Now it starts at 7. Temperatures will be into the 60s, so you will want a coat for that game and maybe even a waterproof one just well to be sure that you're going to stay dry during the game. Now, Sunday and Monday, finally drying out. We're going to see some warmer temperatures up to 80 on Sunday, 85 on Monday, and then Tuesday through Thursday, we could be seeing the return of some spotty storms. For more information, you can head to our website, kktv.com.